Chair now recognizes Senator Leahy. Thank you, uh, Mr. Chairman. I, and I'd like to follow up on what Senator Portman said. I, uh, I agree with his concerns, but I might ask um, a question from the Appropriations Committee, and I know time is limited, so these could be yes or no answers. Um, the Appropriations Committee has always worked in a bipartisan fashion to get money to the, uh, to the police. So, Mr. Sun, yes or no, the Appropriations Committee and ultimately the Congress have met your request for salaries and operating expenses in every fiscal year. Is that not correct? Yes, sir. Thank you. And Mr. Stanger, the Appropriations Committee and ultimately the Congress has met your request for salaries and operating expenses every fiscal year. Is that correct? I don't hear an answer. So I'll ask Mr. Irving. Mr. Irving, the Appropriations Committee and ultimately the Congress has met your request for salaries and operating expenses in every fiscal year. Is that correct? Yes, that, that is correct. Mr. Steyer? Yes, that's correct, sir. Thank you very much. Um, So I, I have to think that we had in, not that we had inadequate uh, resources, but uh, a failure to deploy the people that we were supposed to. Uh, I look at those who uh, appeared. Uh, I looked at the lives that were lost, the uh, police who fought to uh, protect our, our capital. And we saw this as a violent, and I'd say planned and organized attack on the United States and the United States government by domestic terrorists. I hope they're all going to be prosecuted as fully as they can. But those, uh, when we see people encouraging them, including from the former president of the United States, who urged his followers to fight and to show strength, I, I really wonder why we didn't take this seriously enough to be prepared for them. The hours it took to bring in the uh, National Guard and everything else. So I, I read, uh, Mr. Sun, I read your detailed letter to Speaker Pelosi, but you said there wasn't enough um, uh, intelligence shared, but in your same letter you stated that the intelligence assessment I'm quoting here, indicated that members of the Proud Boys, white supremacist groups, Antifa, and other extremist groups are expected to participate in January 6th event, and they may be inclined to become violent. How much more intelligence do we need than that? Yes, sir, that is, that is correct. That is what the intelligence assessment said. It was very similar to the intelligence assessments that we had for the November and December um, MAGA marches. Uh, the intel intelligence assessments that we had developed for the January 6th event all the way up uh, until January 6th, we're all saying very much the same thing, and that's what we had planned for. We had planned for the, the, the possibility of violence, the possibility of some people being armed, not the possibility of a coordinated military-style attack involving thousands against the Capitol. A violence and arm uh, strike me as a pretty strong, uh, pretty strong thing, and uh, I would suggest that everybody get together and look at the future because if you have something that goes on for months, the president calling them, everybody else calling them, I worry that there was not more there. Uh, I think until we root out the hate and throw the rioters to the door that day, no fence or tank or barrier is going to provide the safety we need. Um, we want safety, but also talking about Benjamin Franklin who says give up those who give up essential liberty to purchase a little temporary safety deserve neither liberty nor safety but um, I know a vote is on and before I close I do want to commend uh, Chief Conte for your swift response 
I, you don't have an easy job trying to protect a city as large as Washington, D.C. and balance the, the delicate balance with other, dozens of other law enforcement. But I think that uh, I, I commend the two chairs and ranking members for holding this hearing. We'll hold more in appropriations, but we're going to look very closely at the request this year and say, what do we do if we have another one of these? I thank you, and I yield back my time. Thank you, Senator Leahy.